The state's top transportation leader came to Westfield today to get a first-hand look at the Exit 3 construction on the Pike. 22 News reporter Matt Caron spoke with the Transportation Secretary about key infrastructure projects. Well, we asked Secretary Stephanie Pollack about everything from the toll demolition to I-91 reconstruction, the timeline, the backups, and also the safety of the Longmeadow Curve. State Transportation Secretary Stephanie Pollack came to Westfield to check on the progress of toll booth demolition at Exit 3 on I-90. Massachusetts launched open road tolling in October of 2016. They've been demolishing the old toll booths. Work continues at 23 locations and will be complete by the end of the year. By the end of this year, you'll be able to drive the Mass Pike from the New York border to Logan Airport and you'll basically never know there used to be tolls there. The toll booths have been the gateway to the Mass Pike since the 50s. A lot's changed since then. Our traffic volumes are a lot higher here. Um, this is gonna be, this is gonna provide a lot wider uh, interchange, more vast opening. There won't be any stops uh, to pay the tolls anymore. And, and it should help traffic flows here a lot. Meanwhile, work continues on the raised portion of I-91 in Springfield. Secretary Pollack said they are months ahead of schedule and it will be done before the casino opens. But the bottlenecking is the price we pay. We are using a very innovative system um, on part of 91 that tells people whether or not they're better off merging early or late when they're merging into traffic. And that has actually helped reduce the amount of the backup. Once viaduct construction is finished, work on the highway should be done for decades. But Secretary Pollack told 22 News there's a long-term planning study that was commissioned to put the highway underground, connecting the city to the riverfront. Pollack also said they'll be looking at a possible redesign of the Longmeadow Curve as an infrastructure investment for the future. And earlier in the day, Secretary Pollack was in Northampton for a project to increase pedestrian and bicycle traffic. Live in Westfield, Matt Karen, 22 News.